Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you may be watching. We're going to turn this raw data into that spreadsheet. I notice in this spreadsheet that I have some uh, blank rows, a couple of blank columns, and I'm going to show you how to do that back here in the raw data. So the first thing I'm going to do is to insert a blank row above row 1 and I do that by pointing at the heading of row 1 and right clicking and insert. That inserts a blank row and that's how we insert blank rows. What I also want to do is to insert three blank rows above row, the existing row 3 so if I drag down through the row headings and simply right click on any selected row and insert. Excel inserts the number of blank rows that I selected. Now what we're going to do is uh, insert a blank row above total income, right click on the row heading and insert. We need another one or another couple actually above expenses so I'm going to drag down through two there, right click and insert. So there we go, no problem there. Now I want uh, a blank row above total expenses. So we will insert and one above net income by clicking insert again. So already I've, I've spaced things out nicely here in the spreadsheet. It's just that little bit easier to, uh, to read. Now I've got one row too many here so what I can do to delete that row I'll right click on the row and choose delete so there we go that's uh, that's got rid of that particular row that I didn't need as far as the columns are concerned what I'm going to do now is to right click on column P because when I right click on a column heading and choose insert a column is deleted to the left of the selected column so no problem at all there now what I can do is to uh, look at a little bit of basic formatting um, but first of all before we do that I want to insert the months and I want this to be the first month and we'll type in July when I point at the little autofill button in the right hand corner of the cell the mouse changes to a cross hair. I want to drag that across and autofill uh, just not playing for me at the moment and autofill across to June. So there we go nice and easy. While I'm there while I've got those, those uh, cells selected I'll go to the Home tab and I'll click in the Alignment group, the Center Align button, so that things look uh, nice and centered. Now I'll click in, uh, uh, in O and I'll type YTD, Year to Date. Click away, let's have a look at things starting to take shape nicely. Now before we move on, this heading um, is too far to the left as are all of the other items here in column A so what I want to do to space it out a bit is to right click on column A and I'll simply insert a column there click away to have a look at it and there we go what that allows me to do is now to click in column B hold down my left mouse button and drag across and select to column because what I can now do guys is to in the home tab in the alignment group click the merge and center button and it nicely centers that particular text across the selected cells so you may have gleaned by this stage that selecting is the way to go in fact I tell my students that selecting is the golden rule of all computing so let's recap what we've done. We started off with our raw data that we typed in with our headings 
and then we learn today how to insert rows, columns and how to merge and center a heading. That's enough for one day. Uh, make sure you practice that and uh, don't forget to uh, come back. You'll be automatically uh, advised when the next lesson is due. It won't be far away, a couple of days or so. Uh, but remember to subscribe so that you'll be automatically advised. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you next time.